Hey guys. So I went to Dollar Tree and I know I've got a pile here. But I went to Dollar Tree and actually I went after just a few things. And then there were a few things that I've been looking for because my Dollar Tree is like two, at least two weeks behind everybody else in the nation. I've been looking for that little Minnie Mouse perfume that I saw Sarah of Something Different haul. I can't find it anywhere. Of course, my Dollar Tree gets their shipments in on Wednesday. And today is Monday, and they're putting out boxes upon boxes. So, I've looked every day for five days, and they haven't had it yet. So, anyway, on to what I got here. I went after some spaghetti, and I've never tried this brand, but I figured for a dollar it's worth um, trying. It does say it's 100% semolina, which is a type of flour. So, I've never tried it. I figured it was worth it you know to give it a try it's 24 ounces so it's a large package again you know Dollar Tree it's just a dollar so then I needed some more onion powder so I bought onion powder and I needed some foil so I bought foil and you know my Dollar Tree has like five or six different types of foil and I keep thinking, okay, I'm, there's one in particular that I don't want to get because it's too thin and it's too flimsy. And I keep forgetting which one it is. So if you guys know which one that is, can you let me know in the comments? Anyway, I found these two microfiber multi-purpose cleaning cloths. I thought that it was a pretty good deal. It's a two-pack and they're 13 inch by 13 inch and a 6 inch by 13 inch. And they're super duper soft microfiber but these are a pretty lavender color anyway I needed them for dusting because it says it's great for cars indoor outdoor house office so yeah needed those and then because I'm trying to get away from using as many um, like pledge wipes and things like that because I don't think it's been real good for my furniture so I'm trying to get away from those and try and go as natural as possible then my store finally got in the Mod Podge, so I got three bottles of the mat, um, excuse me, three bottles of the gloss and two bottles of the mat. I've never worked with Mod Podge, but I figure for a dollar it's worth trying, and if I don't like it, you know, I'm sure I can find somebody that will like it. And I needed some like self-adhesive hooks, so this one is a package of nine, they're the right size that I need, so I got those. And then the rest of this stuff really is not a need. Let's just be honest. Well, I needed a little bitty coin purse because I don't carry a traditional wallet because I tend to overfill it and put too much change in it and it gets way too heavy. So if I carry just a small coin purse for my change, then my purse doesn't get so heavy. So I got one of those. I thought that one was really cute. It's pink, orange, and white. Super cute. Anyway, then I got lighters for candles, and then I kind of got on this washi tape kick here lately, and I've always been one that buys like little notepads and like little journals. I, I have more than I need, but I bought more, so here we go. I wanted some of this table scatter for a reason. Recently, I can't remember who it was that I saw, but they did these little um, yarn love bugs. And I'm, I'm going to do one, and I'm probably going to do a video on it, but i got to go back and see who it was so that I can give them the credit for it. Anyway, I thought these would be perfect to put on their little bottoms so that they stand upright. So that's why I got the table scatter. It's the, the Valentine table scatter. I think everybody has seen it. If not, then that's what it looks like. I haven't tried these little Revo's um, lip balms, but I hear good things about them. And as windy as it is here in Oklahoma in the wintertime, my lips get stupid chapped. So I figured I'd give them a try. This is the watermelon flavored. I like watermelon anything. Then I needed some little glue dots to uh, for some of the crafts that I'm doing. And there's, it says it's, there's 36 in here. So, 
They say they're permanent. I don't know about that. But there's 36 in here. I figured it, it was worth a try. Um, these are little storage containers. They're little plastic bottles with lids. I got this laundry soap. If you haven't tried this one, it's really good. I was impressed with it. You know, being a dollar, I really didn't expect it to be good, but I figured I'd give it a try, and I've liked it, and it smells really, really good. Now, those breezy um, dryer sheets, I'm not impressed with those. I've tried them. My clothes are still staticky when I take them out of the dryer, so I'm not impressed with those at all. But I do like this this um, laundry soap, surprisingly enough. So, other things that I got, my dog likes these little dog treats, the steak bones, so I get those for him. And then I saw these, they're antibacterial wet wipes, and they're se it's a 75 count, and they say vitamin E and aloe for hands, ideal for traveling, moisturizing, thick and soft cloths, and a fresh scent. I don't have any idea what they smell like, but I figured I'd give them a try for a dollar. I saw Sarah haul these little guys. It's a notepad with a pen. It's adorable. So I, I had to have it. Probably didn't have to, but really wanted it. And then I got some of the washi tapes that are the uh, Valentine themed. This one just has little hearts on it. Let's see. And then I got this one that says Sweet Love. I got this one because I do a lot of baked goods. And even if I use this like next Christmas when I do baked goods, this would be really cute on it whether it's Christmas or Valentine's. And then I got this one I thought was adorable. And then I, Sarah hauled these stickers too and well, I'm a sucker. But they say they're kind of poofy in some of them. But they're hearts, and then one says love, one says hugs and kisses, this one says LOL, be mine, happy valentines, friends forever, always and forever, BFF, you're awesome. I thought they were cute. I'm going to use them in some of the scrapbooking that I'm doing. So, but this has like the little phone booth, passport, airplane, um, great journey, an old style camera, which I think is cute. So I went ahead and picked those up. They're not in need, but, you know. Speaking of the Rome theme and Italy and Europe and those things, I've seen people haul these little journals. They're hardcover, and they have the little strap, and then it's just lined paper in there. But I always need some sort of little journal or something in my purse because when I get little ideas for crafts or even videos or things like that, then I like to write them down when I think of them because otherwise I'll forget because I'm like that <laughs> anyway this one is for Rome they had a few different styles which I thought were absolutely adorable this one is for Venice and then this one is for the UK it's got Big Ben and it says I love you London isn't that cute it also says London on it. Anyway, my son can always use one of these in his car too, so I'm going to have him pick out which one he wants and then go from there. And I'll hang on to the last one. Speaking of notebooks, there's this one. It has a little strap on it, kind of like the other one does, a little elast elastic strap. But this is like a cardboard cover. It's not a hard cover like that one. But I thought that one was cute. And then also this one. Because for my best friend's birthday, I always make her a basket, you know, a hodgepodge of things. And I like to put these little notebooks in there because, you know, write grocery lists or whatever she has to, appointments, whatever. So I went ahead and picked those up because her birthday's coming up. I needed some Baker's Twine and was happy to see this at Dollar Tree in the, um, they have like a small crafting area. And they had three different styles actually. Well, not styles, colors. This one has red, a grayish blue, and then more of a navy type blue. 
This one has yellow, orange, and brown. And then they had one that had purple and pink. And then I can't remember the last color. But anyway, those are always cute on gifts and stuff. And then I found this washi tape that I really like. It's kind of sparkly, kind of glittery. But it's just a blue. And then my favorite find today was this guy right here. It's a wall sticker, and it says, Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. I absolutely love that, because too many people forget that even if some people don't like you, you are still beautiful to others. So, I like to have little sayings like this around my house that are positive and encouraging because then they're staring us in the face and it's a nice reminder so that's my Dollar Tree haul it's quite a bit but you know that's okay so I'm going to put this stuff away I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow and if you see some really cool sayings that you can stick on your wall get them because it's a dollar and then stick it and then every time you walk by it Remember it, smile, and try and be your own kind of beautiful.